Ahoy there gamers! Today we embark on a grand adventure into the tumultuous waters of a lost treasure, Pirates of the Caribbean Armada of the Damned. Join me as we unfurl the sails and navigate through the mysterious journey of a game that never saw the light of day. The Pirates of the Caribbean franchise began its cinematic voyage in 2003 with The Curse of the Black Pearl, captivating audiences with its swashbuckling action, memorable characters, and fantastical setting inspired by Disney's theme park ride. The franchise spawned several sequels and became a global phenomenon, blending elements of fantasy, adventure, and humor. Pirates of the Caribbean Armada of the Damned was intended to be a video game spin-off set in the same universe as the film series. Developed by Propaganda Games and published by Disney Interactive Studios, the game aimed to offer players an immersive action RPG experience set in the iconic Caribbean setting. Players would take on the role of a customizable pirate captain, navigating through a dynamic open world filled with quests, moral choices, and encounters with legendary characters from the films. The initial concept for Armada of the Damned promised a departure from traditional movie tie-in games. Developers aimed to create a standalone experience that would appeal to both fans of the franchise and gamers looking for a deep and engaging pirate adventure. The game was set to feature a rich narrative, intricate world building, and RPG mechanics that would allow players to shape their own pirate legend. Propaganda Games, the studio behind Armada of the Damned, comprised a talented team of developers with experience working on various gaming projects. Led by experienced industry veterans, the team sought to leverage their expertise to create a game that would capture the essence of the Pirates of the Caribbean universe while offering innovative gameplay mechanics and storytelling. One of the defining features of Armada of the Damned was its focus on roleplay elements and player choice. Players would have the freedom to customize their character's appearance, abilities, and playstyle, shaping their journey and interactions with the game world. Moral choices were expected to play a significant role, influencing the narrative and consequences of the player's actions. Despite the ambitious vision for Armada of the Damned, the development process was fraught with challenges. Reports suggest that the game's scope exceeded the available resources and time, leading to a strained development cycle. The team struggled to balance the ambitious design goals with practical constraints, resulting in delays and setbacks. Like many ambitious projects, Armada of the Damned faced constraints in terms of resources and time. The development team was under pressure to deliver a polished product within a tight schedule, leading to compromises and trade-offs in various aspects of the game's design and development. Internal conflicts and disagreements within the development team further complicated matters. Differences in creative vision, management issues, and interpersonal conflicts reportedly hindered progress and contributed to a turbulent development environment. The fate of Armada of the Damned was also influenced by shifts in Disney's corporate strategy. Changes in leadership, restructuring within Disney Interactive Studios, and evolving priorities within the company's broader portfolio of properties had implications for the game's development and eventual fate. In October 2010, Disney announced the cancellation of Pirates of the Caribbean Armada of the Damned, sending shockwaves through the gaming community. The decision came as a surprise to many, especially considering the game's ambitious scope and the anticipation surrounding its release. Disney cited financial concerns and a strategic shift in focus as the primary reasons for cancelling Armada of the Damned. The company reportedly re-evaluated its gaming division's priorities and decided to allocate resources to other projects deemed more profitable or strategically important. The cancellation of Armada of the Damned sparked mixed reactions from the gaming community and media. Some expressed disappointment at the loss of what could have been a promising game, while others questioned Disney's decision-making process and its implications for the future of the company's gaming endeavors. 
Despite the cancellation, remnants of Armada of the Damned have surfaced over the years, providing a glimpse into what could have been. Concept art showcasing detailed character designs, vibrant environments and imaginative creatures has circulated online. Additionally, snippets of gameplay footage and early builds have been shared by developers and enthusiasts, further fueling speculation about the untapped potential of the game. In the aftermath of the cancellation, some members of the development team have offered insights into the challenges faced during the project. Interviews and statements from key figures shed light on the creative process, the hurdles encountered, and the disappointment felt by the team when their vision for Armada of the Damned couldn't be fully realized. Many gaming enthusiasts and industry observers have pondered the potential impact Armada of the Damned could have had on the gaming landscape. The game's ambitious design, coupled with its focus on player choice and narrative depth, hinted at a fresh approach to the pirate genre. The void left by its cancellation has led to speculation about how the game might have influenced subsequent pirate-themed titles and RPGs. Years after its cancellation, Armada of the Damned continues to live on in the collective memory of the gaming community. Concept art, gameplay snippets and discussions surrounding the game persist on forums, social media and gaming communities. The game's legacy lies not only in its official remnants, but also in the ongoing conversations and reflections it sparks among fans and developers alike. Fans of the Pirates of the Caribbean franchise and gaming enthusiasts have shared their reactions to the remnants of Armada of the Damned. Some express regret and disappointment at the lost opportunity for a unique gaming experience, while others speculate on the potential success and reception the game might have enjoyed if given the chance to set sail into the gaming seas. In the years following the cancellation, several other pirate-themed games have been released. A comparison between these titles and the envisioned scope of Armada of the Damned serves as a point of reflection. While each game has its unique merits, the absence of Disney's RPG take on the pirate genre remains a notable void in the gaming landscape. Armada of the Damned holds significance as a symbol of the challenges and uncertainties inherent in the gaming industry. Its story serves as a cautionary tale about the delicate balance between creative ambition, financial considerations and corporate strategy. The unreleased game remains a point of discussion among developers, gamers and industry analysts, contributing to ongoing reflections on the nature of game development. The cancellation of Armada of the Damned underscores the unpredictable and sometimes turbulent nature of the gaming industry. Even a project backed by a major entertainment conglomerate can face insurmountable challenges, leading to its premature demise. The story of Armada of the Damned serves as a reminder that, despite careful planning and significant investment, gaming development is an ever-evolving journey with no guaranteed outcomes. The hypothetical scenarios surrounding the release of Armada of the Damned remain a topic of speculation and discussion. Fans and industry insiders alike contemplate the potential impact the game could have had on the broader gaming landscape, pondering the ways in which it might have influenced game design, player expectations and the portrayal of pirates in interactive media. As we conclude our extensive journey into the enigmatic world of Pirates of the Caribbean Armada of the Damned, we reflect on the twists and turns that led to the game's cancellation. The tale of this unreleased project adds a layer of complexity to the broader narrative of game development and serves as a testament to the unpredictable nature of the seas that developers navigate. As we bid farewell to the lost treasure of Armada of the Damned, let us acknowledge the passion, creativity and dedication of the developers who dared to chart uncharted waters. May their efforts be remembered as part of the rich tapestry that make up the ever-evolving world of gaming. Thank you for joining me on this extensive journey into the enigmatic world of Pirates of the Caribbean Armada of the Damned. Until next time, may your gaming adventures be filled with undiscovered wonders. Fair winds and following seas, fellow gamers.